Hello and welcome back to Talk of the Town. The Bluffton School of Dance and Performing Arts offering classes for ages 2 through adult in various disciplines including ballet, tap, jazz, hip-hop, drama, acro, zumba, and company competition programs will be presenting an evening of dance and couture May 5, 2012 from 6 to 8 p.m. Here to share more about this exciting evening is studio owner Don Rosa. Don, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. So talk a little bit about the event and I guess the purpose of the event. Well, the purpose of the event is that we've been looking for years to have a fundraiser for our dance company program. These kids train multiple times a week and they live in a small town so they don't have access to those big city teachers and choreographers that other studios do. So while we were at a competition, a bunch of the teachers came up with the idea that why don't our girls do a fundraiser with what they're good at? Yeah, absolutely. Dancing. Yeah. Absolutely. So the actual fundraiser is, um, tell us a little bit about the show. The show's going to include a performance that's put on by our teen company dancers. Those are our 13 to 15 year olds. Our students that were 15, 16, and 17 choreograph numbers and put our teens in the numbers. So it's a student choreography showcase and a performance. Our younger dancers are going to be walking a fashion show. So that's, that's going to be a riot. Yes, those little <laughs> girls are seven and eight years old. They're completely precious. They're doing a mother and daughter fashion show, um, courtesy of Robin Shirley from Matilda Jane Clothing. Wow. So that's going to be the big show. Um, of course, we're going to have hors d'oeuvres and drinks served. We're going to have live music by a local musician, Ty Miller and a silent auction wow. as well. So it's wow. going to be quite a busy couple hours. It will be. And yes. you know, uh, there's not a lot going on that evening. So people need That's to find good. their way to your show. So where is it? Well, it's going to be located at the Bluffton Community Center in Oscar Fraser Park. Um, for those of the, the audience who aren't familiar with that area, it's right smack in downtown Bluffton. Right. So it's a great area. It's a wonderful facility in the town of Bluffton. Facility. Very generous in helping us put on the event. And how much will it be for tickets? Five dollars for tickets. Wow. I know, it's a steal. <laughs> it's a it's steal. a wonderful <laughs> evening for five dollars. Really, to yes. watch all that entertainment mm -hmm. and uh, and just yeah. the uh, talent on the stage, yes. you know, those and, and just giving those young kids the opportunity to show off, yeah. it's it's really neat. So tell us a little bit about the, the School of Bluffton, the Bluffton School of Dance. Well, the school's been in operation now. We're about to have our 12th spring recital. Wow. I came in a couple years in, took it over from my friend Ashley Bozard, and it's just grown leaps and bounds. Right. Um, we started a company nine years ago with just nine dancers. Wow. And now we're up to 38 dancers in our company and almost 300 students at the studio. Wow. wow. So we started age two, we go all the way through adults. And so where, where are you located? We're located in Sheridan Park, right in the heart of Bluffton, next to the Red Cross. Uh, we're open six days a week, so we have a variety of classes available for everybody. Right. And um, our staff of eight now, very well trained. We have college graduates in dance, um, people who have gone on to perform professionally around the world and come wow. back to Bluffton to train these kids. Wow. So we're very blessed to have the staff that we have in Bluffton. And you talk about training the kids, but what about um, adults that want to learn dance? I mean, I know yes. that you have Zumba, and I know you have different, um, I guess, phys physical dance activities Correct. for adults, but what about people that just want, you know, want to learn how to dance? The latest craze that we've seen is in our ballet program for adults. Wow. We have a ballet class on Monday nights. It's at 6.30, and that seems to be where we've gotten the most interest, either dancers who took dance as a kid right. and all of a sudden they're finding themselves with, with their own kids and, yeah. and they're wanting to get back to something. Yeah. Um, we've also had some interest in just contemporary and creative movement, which I like to thank TV shows for. Sure. So you sure. think you could dance, things like that are bringing dance back into the spotlight. So adults are wanting to get trained in dance. It's yeah. really nice to see. That's great. Yeah. So what are your past and current members doing with the dance beyond Bluffton and the dance company? You must have had some that you've trained that are out there doing do. some really fabulous things. We do. It's been, it's been a very explosive couple years for our dancers. We have current members that are traveling around the country with a Tremaine Dance Convention. Mm -hmm. What that is, it's a national dance convention that goes around and teaches kids, you know, 200 in a classroom. And our dancers are traveling around learning how to be an assistant learning from these wonderful teachers and choreographers that are nationally and internationally known. So we have four dancers in that program right now. We're very proud of them. 
Um, our graduating senior this year, Ruthie Trask, is headed out to LA on scholarship to dance. So we're very excited for her. Yeah, that's sweet. And we have um, a girl named Catherine Stannis that graduated a couple years ago. She is currently in the Caribbean on a cruise ship. How fun is that? Dancing her first professional dance job. Yeah. So oh my gosh. That really is, some exciting stuff that going is, on. So what about summer? What's coming up this summer? In the summer we do a ton of summer camps and classes for all ages starting at age two again. Our company dancers come and train for an intensive week bringing teachers from LA and New York, Orlando, Greenville, wherever we can get them from to get these kids top of the, top of the line training. And that's what this fundraiser gala is really about, is right. getting those teachers in and getting them that training. So they take that training, they're gonna be traveling to nationals, competing for some national titles. And then for our little guys that have that dream, we have those camps and those classes to get them started on that yeah, same I mean, path. It's just not girls, you're right. It's, yeah. it's girls and guys. It is. So Dawn, just tell us one more time the, the, the date, the time, where, and, and yes. how people can contact you if they're interested in coming to the okay. show. Great, so the evening of Dance and Couture, it's this Saturday night from 6 to 8 p.m. at Oscar Fraser Park. Tickets are $5. You can call the studio for tickets at 815-2619 or if you know a Bluffton School of Dance Company dancer, you can call them as well and get your tickets from them. Um, it is an event for adults, but they have put it on. The kids have taken charge of this event yeah. and have really taken it as their own. So really hope to see a lot of our community yeah, members I there. I hope we do too. That's really yeah. neat and good luck to you. Thank you and so thank much. thank you for being on the show. Thank you. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.